Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Project Evolve 360. Today we're talking all about the bubbly. Actually, we're just talking about carbonated soda. So, we got another question in from one of our listeners, and the question specifically today is carbonated water versus regular water or sparkling mineral water. I know seltzer has sugar and stuff, but what about hydration or any negative to drinking sparkling water? So, first let's talk about it. Um... No, there's really no difference in health benefits or hydration of just carbonated water versus regular water. There is some research that kind of the carbonation and the, the fizziness on your tongue changes some chemical signaling in the brain and taste appetite or in uh, taste receptors and things like that. But I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I think more of it's kind of a a learned behavior of, you know, you like things or you don't. So um, that's the first question is carbonated water versus regular water and sparkling mineral water. I think, you know, they're both going to hydrate you the same. I think they both have the same, you know, hydration stuff. Um, so options like that, make sure you get, you know, unsweetened, un, you know, tonic water has like a quinine, which is a sweetener um, or quinone or something like that. Um, seltzer has some sugar in it. So just make sure you get just straight carbonated water, something like a, a talking rain or a Perrier water. So that's the first thing. And those actually get kind of expensive. So if you go and you buy like a $3 Perrier water every day, that's pretty expensive. So one of the things you can do yourself is you can go and buy one of those things that's called a soda stream and it basically just carbonates the water for you. And it's actually a really good option. And people that I've worked with that really have an issue with soda or diet soda because they like the fact that there's a little bit of flavor in it and the carbonation, um, that they just they love the carbonation, is I tell them to buy a soda stream because it just carbonates any water you have at home and then you're set and you're ready to go. And another thing I have people do if they really like having some flavor in their water is and to save money is kind of make your own flavored water using like essential oils from foods um, and then just soda stream it yourself. So what I tell people to do is just take a big thing of water, put it in your fridge, and then put some sort of fruit or vegetable in it to flavor it. So you could take like the, the rind of an orange, the rind of a lemon, lime, um, grapefruit. You can just take the whole rind off and put it in there and all the essential oils will be in there and it'll flavor your water. You can use cucumber like they do in restaurants. Um, berries, blueberries or raspberries, it'll add a tiny little bit of sugar, but you know, nothing to really change, you know, the fact that you're basically just drinking water with a little bit of flavoring. Um, I've even seen apple, you can just take an apple slice and stick it in there. So um, th that would be my suggestion is carbonated water versus regular water, same for hydration. Um, if you're trying to kick a soda habit, or you just really like carbonated water, buy a soda stream, save yourself some money, flavor your own water. That is the Evolve 360 tip of the day. Evolve out. Oh, before we go, make sure, hit us up on Facebook, uh, hit us up on Twitter at Evolved Health. If you listen to the podcast, leave us feedback on iTunes. Also, if you guys notice, I'm wearing a Paleo and Paleo MG shirt. Go check her website out, paleomg.com. Julie Bauer is awesome. She's hilarious. She's got great food. She's entertaining. Go check it out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Evolve 360. We're out of here.